bubble, bubble, the judges are in trouble. It's hot and it's in the pot. 55 competitors trying to cook championship chili and a chance for $1,000 and a trip to the National Chili Cook-Off Finals in Reno, Nevada. Now, what really makes a chili good? Well, there's two schools of thought out there, and the first school of thought says it's mainly the chili peppers. The secret is in the fresh peppers, only fresh. Roasting the uh, peppers. They seem to have a better taste if you roast them. Mm -hmm. Then I'll uh, chop them up, put them in my chili. The second school of thought says it's the meat that makes the chili. Whole hog hot sausage. Then we got ground uh, bottom round. Uh, we're using sirloin. Sirloin? Sirloin. Gotta go with the best. And by the way, no beans or pasta allowed. True chili does not have beans or any type of filler, pasta or rice. On to the judging with each judge testing about 18 different chilies, including yours truly. Some might call it a taste test, but in some cases, it's more like a torture test. This year's winner had a chili with an appropriate name. The name of his chili, want to go to Reno. Well, you're going. David Staley from Nicholasville, Kentucky. David Staley. David well, it looks like we've dealt with the fire on the mountain. There's only one problem. No Tums. <laughs>